us to the sixth episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 GCE Science Paper 1, which is Physics. So in this episode, we're going to focus on question B2. And just in case you are new to this channel, consider liking and subscribing to my channel so that every time I upload the video you get the notification by subscribing and liking the videos is the only way you can help me to grow my channel and support my channel so question b2 leads figure b2.1 shows the same corn being placed in different positions x y and D, z on a flat surface so we have a tip of the corn resting on the surface which is x then y corn lying on the surface then z base of the cone resting on the surface question a define center of mass again this is a common question that normally comes so if you've done a lot of revision you understand that this question is easy to answer what is important is do a lot of revision in that way, I encourage you to go to our YouTube channel. We've covered a lot of past papers starting as far as 2018. So, there are two concepts that you need to take note when you're defining center of mass. So, there is a center of gravity and center of mass. So, you need to know the difference between these two because you're going to be asking any of this. So, when you're talking about center of mass, we are referring to an imaginary point in an object where its swarm mass acts. So this refer to an imaginary point in an object where its or mass acts thus the center of mass so when you know the center of mass you know the center of gravity but we need to understand the difference between these two the definition of center of gravity instead of mass is now this refers to an imaginary point in an object where it's all weight. So now this becomes weight acts. That's how we define now the center of gravity in case we're asked. Then again, you might be asked to give the difference between these two because these two are very close. So when I talk about center of gravity, you need to define it in terms of weight because center of gravity is based on weight. Whereas the center of mass is based on mass. That's the difference. So in the case where the gravitational field across an object is uniform, the two are identical. Meaning this center of gravity is equal to center of mass. When you have a uniform gravitational field. However, when the object enters a specially varying gravitational field, the center of gravity will move closer to the region of the object in the stronger field whereas the center of mass is the same so you need to know these differences so practically speaking the center of gravity is a point over which the object can be perfectly balanced the net turn due to gravity about that point is zero so the resultant is zero that's what you need to take note of i've taken a lot of time to explain this because you can be asked either to define center of gravity or center of mass or the question can be differentiate the two question b identify the cone in a neutral equilibrium position so we are looking for the one in the neutral equilibrium position. So before we look at the positions, we need to understand what is the equilibrium. So if an object is said to be in a state of equilibrium, then all the forces which act upon the object are balanced. That's the first case. 
all the forces which are acting on a given object should be balanced then we are talking about equilibrium then what are the three types of equilibrium we have stable equilibrium so i'll write here stable equilibrium so in this case when a particle is displaced slightly from a position then a force acting on it brings it back to the initial position that's the case so the object returns to return to initial position then we have number two which is unstable equilibrium unstable equilibrium so when an object is displaced slightly from a position then a force acting on it tries to displace the particle further away from the equilibrium position so this one moves the object further away from the equilibrium position then that's the case then you have the third one which is the neutral equilibrium so in this case when a particle is slightly displaced from a position then it does not experience any force acting on it and continues to be in equilibrium in the displaced position so continues to be in that equilibrium after displacement that's the case so now if you look at the images you notice that x is unstable equilibrium because you want to move, move it a bit what will happen is the force acting on it will try to displace this cone further away from the equilibrium that's what will happen so x is unstable you look at y y is neutral equilibrium because when you displace this cone a bit it will just move a bit then it will maintain its equilibrium in the new position then you look at z z is the stable equilibrium because when you put it a bit a bit it will return back to the initial position so you need to understand all these once you understand this then it becomes easier so you know that y is in the neutral equilibrium just like that c state two factors that affect stability of an object so there are two one of them is the center of mass the one that we define center of mass so the lower the center of mass the more stable the object is then the higher the center of mass the more unstable it is then number two the area of the base area of the base so the bigger the area of the base the more stable it is so in this case this one has a bigger base area so this one is more stable hence it is a stable equilibrium this one has a very small base where it's sitting so this one is unstable so these are the two factors that affect the stability of an object if you can do this you are good to go then you get these four marks remember i take a lot of time to give you more details and give you more information because the purpose is not just you to know the answer but prepare for questions that are not asked in this paper so that when you meet that question you are good to go so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as we look at question b three